now i want to provision an ec2 instance which is the basic motto of this video so let me create a new file and name it as ec2.tf so i created a new file ec2.tf now to provision that ec2 instance uh, you just uh, here you can see a filter in the aws documentation which we have gone through this section now here you can see there are many uh, aws uh, in fact every aws service is present here so just like i want to create an ec2 instance just go to this ec2 section and uh, in the here you will find an option of aws underscore instance so just click on this okay so here is an basic example which we want to perform uh, let me just copy it and then i will explain this what basically this is so just copy this i pasted it here so what it is doing i am telling uh, just uh, just forget uh, for a moment about this data section just first look in this resource section so what i am telling terraform that i have to create a resource what i have to which resource i want to create i want to create an aws instance that is ec2 instance which i locally name as web so this name is only for the terraform reference okay so terraform will recognize this resource as web and i am telling that uh, it's ami basically it's machine image uh, means the operating system in which uh, i am using this i am telling you have to find using data aws ami ubuntu id leave this section for a moment mm -hmm. okay and uh, next section is instance underscore type t3 micro so i am providing instance type here that uh, i want to use uh, t3 micro and t3 micro is just a combination that uh, how many memory and uh, cpu i wanted okay okay so it's an instance type so i provided t3 micro let me change it t2 micro as it's a free tier eligible t2 micro okay okay so i am using t2 micro as instance type and i am telling my that i want to tag my ec2 instance with the name tag and which has a value of hello world okay yeah. now come to this ami section uh, that i am telling that you have to go to this data section okay so it will find this data section data section with the name of aws underscore ami and uh, with the ubuntu uh, local name so what you have to uh, put that id section you have to put so uh, if you go to this uh, data section you can see what we have done here uh, basically data section is used to um, filter out or you can say the query the aws okay so what it will do uh, it will uh, go to your aws account and will search in the uh, using the name filter uh, it will go to there and search for the ubuntu let me show you on the console as well so it will be more clear to you just like if i want to provision an ec2 instance using the management console so how can i do that you have to go to this launch instance and uh, here you can see here is an option of uh, choosing your os that i want to use linux or mac os i want to use or i want to use red hat or the ubuntu server or windows server whatever you can choose it from so uh, if i want to use ubuntu i can search it here right and it will search me this ubuntu server so i am writing same thing but in a form of code here okay so i am telling just go to the name filter and search for this value search for the ubuntu 20.04 you can for this it is uh, basically searching okay okay so just search it here and uh, whose virtualization type is hvn you can see there is a there are virtualization type is also available hvn so basically if i want to choose that uh, i can put it here and uh, whose owner uh, it's uh, just an account id of uh, ubuntu which officially releases it so they have put it here they have directly given the example on the terraform official site 
so basically uh, you can directly put it like that or if you have the emi id you can just directly copy this one so basically if you copy it and just paste it here so it will do the same thing it will launch your ec2 instance with the ubuntu 20.0.4 uh, version okay or uh, if you don't uh, want to go to your console and check what is the emi id so then you can use this data section it will automatically check and provide the value here okay uh in the same way we can create for the windows linux and mm -hmm. other operating system correct correct so whenever you want to search or query anything in the uh, this aws console you can use this data block okay so in the data block itself, like we have, we can see that filter yes, attributes. Yes. Yes. So like those will also be different. Right. Uh, yeah, right. Just like I want to filter for the windows, then I in the value I will provide that uh, search for the uh, in the name section search for the windows machine. Okay. Okay. Yes. So you can put different filters uh, for which you want to search, and uh, you can provide that value. Okay. Okay. Then it will search and automatically provide the value here. It, it will automatically put that value here, AMI ID, or you can manually put also just like I recently showed. Just copy it from the console, this one, and just paste it here. But if you don't want to do the work of going in the console and copy this AMI ID and paste it here, then you can use the data block. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I yeah. have one more question. Yes, sir. As you showed us now that mm -hmm. we can create an instance via AWS console. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what Terraform is doing differently? Uh, yeah. Basically, it allowing you to create your infrastructure in form of code. So basically, if I created uh, an uh, EC2 instance using console, just like this, and I have created an EC2 instance, and if somehow any person or maybe a junior member of your team have deleted that basically in the production environment we have not have a single server we have thousands of server correct right so if i have to create using this method i have to means i want to create five of t2 micro five of different server five ubuntu server five windows server so then i have to do lots of manual work here right but if i have this script ready and if some got deleted i can run that script again and it will be automatically created i don't have to rework it again okay so it's basically okay. doing an automation of that it's uh, also important in the form of security because anybody can review your code uh, at any time it, it can check everything at a single place it doesn't have to go to okay yeah my ec2 is there so i have to go this ec2 instance and uh, anybody has created two VPC network or subnets are there. So it have to go to different section. So you can basically check all those things at a single place in your Terraform files. Yeah, as you already mentioned in your previous videos that uh, like via Terraform, it's easier to trace. Like traceability is easier via. Right, right, correct. You got it okay. right. So I have provided all the information which I need to provision my EC2 instance. As I told in my previous video itself, whatever we have created in the Terraform file, we can execute that using the command Terraform apply. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So what this the command do? Whatever Terraform files is there in this directory. Okay. You don't have to mention the file name it will take all the files and it will execute that so before running it uh, let me run terraform plan so it what terraform plan will do it will show that what terraform is going to do it will do nothing but it just shows me what uh, when uh, when you run terraform apply what it will do okay okay it just shows me plan that what is going to be created or if you have any error then it will show that as well so it will take some moments uh, to create plan. So see, yeah, it it has shown me a plan. Let me maximize. So it is showing uh, this uh, plus icon will denote the creation of. 
so this is going to create an resource aws instance with the ami id you can see this ami id is there yes it, it it got automatically fetched it out right we haven't provided in the ec2.tf right we just told that we it will automatically detect it ubuntu ami id so it has got automatically fetched it out ami id and uh, it is showing that it is going to create this aws instance whose ami id is going to be this and uh, it's going to be t2 micro and rest all the things uh, we will get to know after we will run terraform apply okay okay so here you can see all the things which are going uh, to be created along with it so you can see we are creating one we are adding one resource and we are going to nothing to change or nothing to destroy yes. so if we want to execute it just run the command terraform apply one thing i mentioned to forget that we have to mention region here in the credential as well that i have to uh, make this ec2 instance in the us this one region so now quickly execute the terraform apply command plan. yeah we have already seen okay. the plan so now anyway if you run terraform okay. apply, uh, apply it will show you the plan as well along with yeah. this and then we have to provide the value as yes then only it will proceed and let's go to our console as well so as we previously said we don't have currently any instance in this region so let me provide the value here as yes and it should start provisioning my ec2 instance you can see it is started creating mm -hmm. so now let me refresh it so you can see a new ec2 instance got created with a name tag of hello world and t2 micro instance okay so so it is still in the provisioning uh, you can see the status it is still in the pending state once it will be in the running state uh, just now it is in running so we should get the creation complete and we also get the instance id here that is uh, cc45c it ended you can see it is the same ec2 instance which we created okay yeah. so this is how you can provision this is a simple example of provisioning a server but you can provision anything whatever you want to do anything in the cloud with the help of terraform okay so it give you a successful message that one resource has got added and uh, your apply is got completed so right so as now our demo is completed we have successfully provisioned an ec2 instance and if you want to delete that in, uh, instance whatever you created just run the command terraform destroy so it will automatically destroy uh, the infrastructure which you have created in a single moment so here you can see whenever i run a command here a temporary file got created of terraform state block so that any other person uh, d doesn't interact with the same time so that uh, it will cause an error conflicting error so it will detect uh, who is creating this and it will install all this information uh, by you maintaining this terraform state locking file okay which i already explained in my previous of the videos so i have provided uh, to destroy all the resources it is showing me that what it is going to be destroyed so it is now showing the minus red icon and this is going to be null all the values going to be null it always shows us before that what it is going to do so you can see one to destroy and it got destroyed if you see the console itself then you can see it its state should be in the terminated okay so now that ec2 instant got terminated you can see here as well we got the success message that destroy is completed and uh, resource is destroyed so that's all in this demo uh, thank you for watching this video if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and uh, make sure to subscribe our channel see you in the next video bye